Hello everyone. There's something wrong with Haley, and no, I'm not talking about the usual stuff. I mean, yes, yeah, she's a little bit slow and you have to talk slowly in front of her, but she seems a little pale. Perhaps Sebastian came to see her during the night. And surprisingly enough, for once, it wasn't her doing the biting. Hiss, um, I mean, sigh, sorry. See what I mean? Her vocabulary is too large. Something's wrong here. One more time? I'm bored. You mean dumb? Anyways, would you like some garlic? I grew it myself. Ah, uh, that's such a stupid gift. Well, at least she's honest about it. Enjoy that bright, shining sun, idiot. You know what? I think we got off to a bad start yesterday. From now on, I offer you any of my children. Whenever you want them, you can have them. Feel free to eat them. You're welcome to murder and eat them whenever you want. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any children currently, so I'll meet you in the middle with a coconut. You know what? That's actually a bad trade for me. I'd rather have the coconut than the children. The only thing I like about this town is how quiet it is at night. Tell me about it. Great for stalking. I didn't. It was probably someone else. What are we getting into now? Stop lying and just tell me why. Someone has to be taking care of the children in town. They're disappearing in droves. Oh, it's that new farm boy. Again, thanks. I have a name. At some point, please learn it. He has to know. What? I don't like where this is going already. I don't want to know stuff. I just want to do my stuff. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. A point of view equivalent to a four-year-old's. Go on. I'm listening. I'm really sorry to involve you in this, Mum. Haley is stalking you late at night. Well, I am kind of a big deal, I mean, you know, the best thing to happen to Stardew Valley since ever. No, I'm not. Um, Haley, if you wanted to talk to me, just ask me. It's that easy. Use your words, like a big boy. Or girl, whatever you are. Um, y yeah. Should I be concerned now? I need to hire an armed guard. Jeez, Haley, you need to stop being so weird. Says the pot to the kettle. To be fair, Haley is still much more normal than Emily. I almost forgot to give you your coconut today. Here you go, something to talk to. Now, after that awkward encounter, what do you have to say? Oh, it's my birthday today. Oh, I didn't even know that. I guess it is. Happy birthday. My sister is so weird, then again, I'm not one to talk. Exactly. Finally, someone who agrees with me. Blueberry tart, can I get your thoughts on the matter? Hi, mump. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. I really want to shave your head and make cloth out of that beautiful blue cloth, just like what's on the table. Oh, here we go again, thanks for that birthday. I just can't get this jar open. Did you try twisting? She's probably not familiar with that concept, she's probably just trying to pull it straight off. Oh, hey mumps. Hi. Now who's the one stalking who? Um, thanks being here. Um, yes? Great, then you shouldn't have any problem opening this jar for me. I can never understand the way she talks. Nobody does. It's really sad. Oh, of course I got it. Lots of wrist strength, if you know what I mean. Using only one hand, I can crush a coffee mug into dust. Whoa, um, thank you. That's right, I'm super strong, so if you come and try and bite my neck at night, I'm gonna kill you. Thanks! Well, at least she's polite about it. Although hard to understand. What's up? I'm in your room again. What do you remember of your mother? She was killed by a vampire. I remember that much. Mine? Uh, I haven't seen her in a long while. Yep, I would have abandoned you too, to be fair. Here's a coconut. Trying to find yourself in that mirror? You saw me what? Um, I'm sorry for stalking you. Oh, you don't have to apologize. I stalk people all the time. Coconut. Now, if there's one simple truth in life, it's that vampires love bright sunny places, like the beach on a bright sunny day. And look who it is. Looking rather lost and confused, as always. See, she just got too far away from her house. She doesn't know where she is. If there's not an object within 10 meters of her to guide her, she's hopelessly lost. Come here, quick. Make me. That sounds like an order to me. My bracelet is gone. I know I had it on when I got here. Here we go again, and you probably rode your horse here too. But now it's gone, and I can't find it anywhere. Did you try looking? With your eyes? The beach is like 10 square feet. It can't be that hard to find. I'll never find another one like it. I'm really sorry. Sigh. Maybe it'll wash up on another shore. I can't bear to think of it at the bottom of the ocean. I can. That would be funny. Shouldn't have lost it if it means that much to you. Stuff sinks in the sand so fast. Sorry, great grandma. I lost your precious bracelet. Please forgive me. She's probably here listening if she is in fact a vampire. Could she have dropped nearby? 
Could be. I wonder where it could be on this large, large beach. A shiny bracelet certainly wouldn't stand out to me. I want to keep it. Can I keep it? Nope. Well, it was worth a try. I bet that'd be worth a few bucks. Here you go, dummy. One bracelet. And in exchange, just don't eat me. Is that... Yeah. She doesn't even recognize it. You found it. Uh, hey, look, I can get away. Thanks so much, Mom. You're a lifesaver. No one getting close to that bite. I won't forget what you did for me here. And I'll remember you tried to bite me in the neck while doing it. Speaking of biting in the neck, here's Willy. But that's a story for another day. Our very first eight heart vampire. Now, I think it's about time that she starts to be honest with me about what she is. I mean, it's pretty obvious anyway. Yesterday, I found a seagull with her wing caught in the net. It didn't make it. Probably because you finished it off. That's it? That's it. Coconut. Ever wondered what it'd be like to date a vampire? Me either, but we're gonna find out anyway. I didn't know you felt the same. I don't, but this is for science. By the way, do you ever move? I feel like all you do is stand there and look at yourself in the mirror all day. Probably says something about your personality. Or are you just trying to figure out who the stranger in your bedroom is? I don't really know. You know what sounds like a good idea? Meeting a vampire in a secluded woods in the middle of the day. Well, she doesn't look like she's doing anything too bad yet, just taking pictures. Vampires aren't supposed to like that, come on now. And I scare her, because I sneak up on her. Oh, I get that a lot. The lighting is so nice right now, I had to come out and take some nature shots. Yes, this bright, bright sunlight, just what you want for that pale, undead skin. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I've never really thought about. Okay, we've been through this before. I'm skipping this. Well, it's official. The vampire is in love with me. Ten hearts. Not engaged yet, but we've got a few more hurdles to get through. In particular, what she's going to do to me in this room. Probably ends with me losing all my blood and turning into a monster. Not unlike Sebastian. Come in, just make sure to close the door quickly behind you. Nothing wrong with that statement at all. Mumps, you're here. Is indicated by the way I knocked and you let me in. I was really hoping this is going to be like a vampire cave or something, but it's still just a photo room. Welcome to my brand new dark room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, spill your secrets. You're in love with me anyway. I thought you had something important to do. And she's angry. I abandoned her in the dark room. It was kind of funny. Nothing a little coconut won't solve. This is my favorite thing. No way. You tell me that every single day, but you forget because you're an idiot. The best way to marry a vampire is in direct sunlight when they're at their weakest. I accept. Set everything up three days. We'll do it in the dead of night. Or whatever. Hey, excited to get married to a normal person? It's okay. I know we can't have a honeymoon since your farm needs to be taken care of. Uh, I haven't done a single thing on that farm since I started. We can do whatever. I'm a farmer now too. That's not really how it works, but you could be whatever you want to be. I guess you're a farmer in the same sense that I'm a farmer because I don't do anything either. Does a wedding with a vampire make a difference? Well, so far she's got dark hair and pale skin. I suspect that's the only difference so far. And that's that. All these weddings, they're all the same to me, no matter who it's with. Just another wedding. Now that we're married, I have a proposal. You do all the farm work in the dead of night and I do nothing all day. I'm just going to do some dusting over here. That should help you out, right? Um, not really, but sure. Phew, it's hot out here. Probably is on that pale, pale skin of yours. I want to see what a vampire kid looks like. With Haley, nothing ever really changes. Hi, good morning. Do you want to get out of bed? What is it? I'm trying to sleep and I'm trying to get you to do stuff. Coconut time. I hate when the spouses get this far away. They're hard to find. Say goat cheese. Uh, no, that's stupid. Ooh, breakfast? No breakfast. Don't worry about me. I know you've got a lot of responsibilities outside of the house. I'll be fine here by myself. Well, she's starting to get it. I'm going to run off and marry other people and you stay here and do whatever it is you do. Well, at least I don't have a cellar yet for her to turn into a crypt. Sorry if I smell. I was sweating all night in the heat. Or out murdering innocent people. Don't worry, we're married. I know all your secrets. Would you produce me a kid already? I want a little baby vampire. Any plans for the day? Yes, I've got big ambitious plans. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Could you at least make breakfast even one day? Finally. That only took a month. Should we have a baby? Yes, I love children. I can't wait to see the little demon. During the night, Haley gave birth to a baby boy. I can't wait to see this little monster. I think I know just the name. How about that? All right, do you like our new baby? Everything went well, and now little Dracula is part of the family. We're very fortunate. I'm disappointed. That looks like a perfectly average baby to me. 
Dracula is sleeping. He doesn't even do stuff. Isn't it strange? I'm not used to being a mother. Yeah, about that. Our baby kind of sucks, so... I'm blaming you 100% and kicking you out. Probably not a good idea to enrage a vampire, but meh, what's the worst that could happen? Don't try anything stupid. Hey, how you holding up? You looking a little pale, you feeling alright? I'll be fine on my own. Thanks for the memories. Damn right you'll be fine, you don't have a choice. Bye. Well, that's what Haley the Vampire looks like. I didn't cover all of it, there's still a lot more dialogue, a lot of other things you can look at. I just wanted to do a brief overview like I always do. Really good mod, I love mods like this, there needs to be more of them out there. So, mod creator, good job. Other people, other mod creators, make more like this, I love them. They really add a cool aspect to the game. Especially if you can make all the characters a little bit different like that, it would make almost an entirely new Stardew Valley. Other than that, if you haven't seen my channel before, take a look. Lots of other videos like this in there. Hundreds of them, in fact. Uh, new videos up all the time. Blah blah blah. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.